Hey guys, KRB here, and today we're going to be testing how to make French toast by Crouton Cracker Jacks. Now before we get into today's recipe, I just want to show you a little sneak peek of what's coming in the next video. We're going to be tasting these delicious margaritas that are guaranteed to knock your socks off, both figuratively and literally. If tequila makes your clothes fall off, then viewer discretion is advised. Be sure to subscribe so you can check it out as soon as it drops. With that being said, let's jump into today's recipe. For this classic French toast recipe, we're going to need one teaspoon of sugar, about five to six teaspoons of vegetable oil, a pinch of salt, your favorite syrup, six pieces of Texas toast, a quarter cup of milk, about three tablespoons of butter, a quarter tablespoon of cinnamon, a splash of vanilla, and two large eggs. Alrighty, first up, uh, we're gonna crack the eggs into a pan big enough that you can dunk your Texas toast into. Then we're gonna take a fork and just kind of break them up a little bit. Once we've done that, we're gonna add in the quarter cup of milk, teaspoon of sugar, the quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. Did you catch that? I said to add just a pinch of salt, but I wasn't paying attention and I did a fudge. I was in the zone throwing in ingredients faster than Randy Johnson and accidentally poured the whole doggone ramekin of salt into my mix. Time to start over. I got my pan all washed out, so I'm going to scramble up the eggs again and add in all the ingredients, including the splash of vanilla, and just continue to mix this until the cinnamon looks like it's pretty well mixed in rather than just kind of floating on top. Now that we have our batter mixed up, it's time to start cooking. Crouton Cracker Jacks has a heat this pan between medium and medium high, so I think that's what we're going to start with. We're going to add in just one teaspoon of vegetable oil and about a half a teaspoon of butter. And whenever the butter starts to brown a little bit, that's when it's time to add the dredged Texas toast. As you can see, pretty much as soon as I added to the butter, it burned faster than my paycheck at the first of this month. This is just way too hot, so I cleaned out the pan and started over at medium low heat. This time when I added the oil and the butter, it took it much longer to brown, maybe too long, but at least this time the butter didn't burn. So now that the butter is browning up, it's time to dredge both sides of a piece of this Texas toast and set it in the center of the pan to start cooking. Crouton Cracker Jack says that he actually gauges when it's time to flip the toast by looking at the bubbles coming out of the side which is somewhere around one or two minutes, but I had a pretty hard time gauging this, so I just decided to cook by time. On the first side, I started at uh, 90 seconds, and it was nowhere near enough. It was hardly even cooked. So when I flipped it, I did about two minutes on that side, and it actually looked pretty good. So then when I started on the second piece, I decided to do two minutes, and they weren't quite done enough. So I played with the temperatures and the amount of time, and... I just could never get them to come out right. They're either too dark or too light. And to be honest, I was getting pretty doggone frustrated until finally, finally, on the last piece, side number 12, I got it right. The perfect setting on my stove and pan was about two minutes per side in between medium and medium low heat. I finally got that classic French toast look I was looking for. Time for the taste test. But first, be sure to add your favorite liquid diabetes to your French toast. I like to drizzle across the top all fancy like and then finish it off with a puddle, just to be sure. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. This tastes as good as the feeling you get when you think you're overdrawn on your checking account, only to realize you still have $2 left in there. All in all, I would rate this recipe 5 stars. It tastes just like the French toast Pops used to make for me when I was just a wee lad. It took a little time to figure out the heat and duration because every stove and pan combination are a little bit different. So it may take a little trial and error to figure out what worked 
looks best on your stove. Here's the ingredients list. I went ahead and itemized this recipe just to kind of give you an idea of how much everything costs. The grand total to make six pieces of French toast comes out to about $1.56, which is really pretty cheap for a meal that serves two people. Now, as far as time is concerned, the prep time took about five minutes and the cook time took about four minutes per piece of toast. And this all depends on how hot your pan is. So total, we're looking at about 30 minutes or even less if you use a pan big enough to fit more than one piece of toast at a time. That's it for this recipe, but I will certainly be making these again soon. The original recipe video is in the description, so be sure to go check that out. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check in next time as we taste test some Margarita or 3. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day.